I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about calculus and polar coordinates. In problem number 27, we'd like to find the area of one leaf of the curve r equals cosine of 3 theta. So to start out here, let's just draw this curve. Um, so to draw this polar curve, I know that r equals cosine of 3 theta is what we call a rose shape um, in polar coordinates and because it has an odd number next to the theta we know it has that number of leaves so this is a three leaved rose in polar coordinates and so the question is well where is the first leaf sitting well, the first leaf, if I plug in theta equals zero, then I get cosine of zero, which is one, which is the biggest that cosine of something could ever be. So out here at one, uh, theta equals zero will give me one. And so I know that one of the leaves is sitting right here. Where are the other two leaves? Well, there are three of them, so they're sitting at thirds. So there's one over here and there's one over here. And if we wanted to figure out what are the angles of the other two leaves, then we just ask the question, well, what values make cosine zero? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, not what values make cosine zero. What values make cosine of three theta become one? Uh, well, zero does it. What else does it? What else makes it one or possibly negative one? Um, well, how about pi? Pi would make it, and what would I have to plug in for theta here to get pi? Well, I'd have to plug in pi over 3 for theta. So at pi over 3, which is right here, I go negative 1, and I'm right here. All right, so we start to see the idea, and so this one is going to be, this is pi over 3, I'm right here, and this is 2 pi over 3, and I would be right here. So we start to get a feel for how this curve looks. Now, I just want to find the area in one leaf. All right, so I'm good just finding the area in this one leaf that's sitting right here. And in fact, I'm okay with just finding the area in the top half of that leaf and then doubling it because this is a symmetric leaf about the x-axis. So what I'm going to do, I want to find the area of the total leaf that's sitting here, but I'm just going to find the area of the top half of that leaf, and then I'll double that area. All right. So if I'm finding the area that I'm looking for, I'm going to double integrating from zero. Well, when do we actually get back to zero here? So I want to start integrating this thing at zero here, and then I want to start uh, picking up area until I get to zero. So what would give me zero? Well, cosine is zero if three theta is pi over two. When is three theta equal to pi over two? What would theta have to be? Well, theta would have to be pi over six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate from 0 until I get to pi over 6. And that will pick up all the area in the top half of that leaf. So I'm integrating from 0 to pi over 6 of 1 half r squared. r is cosine of 3 theta. So I want cosine of 3 theta squared d theta. So here is the integral that will get me the area that I'm looking for. In this case, the area in this one leaf of this curve. All right, let's go ahead and integrate it. I've got a 2 and I've got a 1 half, so those cancel. And I'm just left with the integral from 0 to pi over 6 of cosine squared of 3 theta d theta. 
Uh, we have a cosine squared of 3 theta. I can't take an antiderivative of it in its current form. So I'm going to use a half angle identity to replace that. If I do, I get integral 0 to pi over 6 of 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. I'm sorry, not 2 theta. So let's be careful here. Uh, we have 1 plus cosine of not 2 theta because we didn't start with theta here. We started with 3 theta. So I need to double 3 theta. Doubling 3 theta gets me 6 theta all over 2 d theta. All right, now I see I have a 1 half uh, or a 2 on the bottom of the fraction. I could pull the 1 half out of that integral and write it this way. I could write it as 1 half integral from 0 to pi over 6 of 1 plus cosine of 6 theta d theta. All right, I'll erase over here. Now let's take an antiderivative. I have 1 half. Antiderivative of 1 is theta. Antiderivative of cosine of 6 theta would be sine of 6 theta divided by 6. All of that evaluated from 0 to pi over 6. Let's plug things in. I still have a 1 half sitting outside. Let's plug in the pi over 6. I plug it in, I get pi over 6. Plug in pi over 6 and I get 6 times pi over 6, which is pi. So I have sine of pi. Uh, what's sine of pi? Uh, it's 0. So I just get 0 over 6, which is plus 0. Then I subtract, plugging in 0. Uh, if I plug in 0 for theta, I get 0. If I plug in 0 for theta, I get sine of 6 times 0 or sine of 0, and sine of 0 is 0. So that's plugging it in. All of these are 0, so I just get a half times pi over 6, which is pi over 12. And so pi over 12 would be the area inside one leaf of that three-leafed rose.